How's it going? My name is Justin Case, and many people ask me, how much am I earning right now when it comes to all of the different projects that I'm currently involved with, where we are incentivized with cryptocurrency? And I'm going to give you that answer today, and I'm going to give you it in terms of the last seven days, the last week of earnings. But before I do, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Because if you subscribe, then you'll know whenever I post a new video, and I always like people to know the most recent information that I can give them. Okay, so let's talk about my earnings. Now consider two things in this process. Earnings are dependent on how many people are part of the project. The project generally gets paid by a specific amount in a pool. And the more people that are part of the project, uh, the more it eats at the amount of rewards that each individual gets, which means that the more people that join, the less incentivized currency we are each given. So the amount is going to go down, and what I tell you today is not necessarily going to be true tomorrow. On the flip side to this, each currency can go up and go down on a daily basis and you never know what the price is going to be so hopefully if the price of that currency goes up that means that even if the amount that you're given goes down your rewards are increasing so i can only tell you right now the numbers based off of at this very moment how much that cryptocurrency is worth okay now that you have that let's talk about it in terms of geodnet so GeodeNet is a system that allows you to earn crypto based off of having this triple band base station, space weather station on your roof. Now the triple band version, it promises to give you 48 geode tokens a day, provided that you meet 100% requirements that they have. And I never do. Because while mine is still mounted on the roof, getting as high up as I possibly can, I still have a ridge line around me, and that blocks some of the satellite signal. So I end up getting around 97.6%, something around there. Never 100%. So that means my rewards are a little above 46. So take that 46, multiply it by 7, and that is around 322 a week. Now, the current value of Geode is 0.116, or a little above 11 cents, which means my rewards are around 40 bucks. 40 bucks a week. Honestly, I don't think that's bad. 40 bucks a week. And on average, I can rely on that. So it's a nice uh, project to be involved in. The next one I want to talk about is Dymo. Now, I've been involved in Dymo since the beginning of 2023. Um, I got the big airdrop of around 13,000 uh, when it just started up, which means I'm always looking for airdrops right now. And uh, in the beginning, it was giving, because there just weren't a lot of people involved in it, around 300 a week. Now that's gone down, and they do drop on a weekly basis. And last week, or rather the beginning of this week, I got 58.54 Dymo. Now consider, first of all, Dymo wasn't worth a lot in the beginning of the year. Not this year, I should say, in the beginning of 2023. Uh, and now it's worth like 0.4717. So almost 50 cents. Uh, where I think it was like at a point zero something something in the beginning of 2023. So my point being is it's gone up. It is it it is gone up in value. It is worth things, but still, yeah, I'm only getting 58.54 as of last week. Now I'm getting this through a Dymo Auto Pie. If you have a macaroon, I believe you get a third of that. So somewhere more around 20. I'm going to say. So yeah, something to be considered. Uh, depending on what you have is what you're going to end up getting now. And again, uh, diminishing returns because the pool uh, of people grows bigger and bigger. So um, we'll see what happens next week. But that ends up giving me a reward of $27.61. 
The next one I want to talk about is helium. And when we talk about helium, I'm talking about the low raw network right now. OG helium. Now I got in on the minted devices. I ended up, I think they had a maximum. You can only buy five at a time. I got 10. I got these 10 hooked up all over the place. My best is in this house. It has a directional antenna. It's getting a thousand a day when it comes to IOT. But um, my worst is in Chicago. It's got like a 4 dBi uh, omnidirectional antenna, and it only gets like 30 um, IOT a day. So some do good, some do not. Some I think somewhere in there, most of them get around 200 a day. I don't know. Um, but on average, as a weekly total, all 10 of them give me somewhere around 38,500. And that 38,500 at the current value of IoT, which is 0 0.0024, gives me about 90 bucks. 90 bucks. So yeah, um, 90 bucks a week is not bad. I mean, uh, Geode, like I said, about 40. Uh, Dymo, uh, 27. And then IoT, IoT devices, Helium, 90 bucks. Something to think about. Of course, got to have 10 of them. Okay, now another device that actually is doing pretty well too is the mobile subscription plan. I don't know if many of you know this, but Helium branched out into 5G and the mobile subscription plan also rewards you by mapping. It's mapping out its own network, trying to figure out the best placement for devices and systems. And it's useful to Helium, and so they pay you for it. And the rewards on a daily basis are not bad. I thought they were going to drop a lot more than they have. They're hovering around 700 right now. They just dropped a little below it. I think it's 680. But um, they haven't dropped as fast as other systems have. So, uh, yeah, right now, because of that, uh, this last seven days, I got about 4,800. 4,800 in a week. And the mobile token, which is mobile, is at currently 0 0.0037. And that means it makes me about $18 a week. $18 a week, consider it is a $20 plan, is not bad. That means it generally pays for itself and gives you a little extra. Something to consider. If you are interested, I do also have my referral code in the description. Please consider using it. Okay. Now, as part of the whole mobile system, there were the indoor and outdoor hotspots. This is the indoor hotspot. Now, indoor and outdoor hotspots not only pay you via what they call proof of coverage, but they pay you via data transfer. Now, I'm not going to get into data transfer in this video. There are other videos that you can learn more about data transfer and how awesome it is. But we're going to talk about it in terms of just POC rewards. Now, I ended up transferring this first to a friend's house and not house, I'm sorry, a friend's nail salon and nobody used the data. And he had like really bad speeds. And so my rewards were halved because his speeds were below 100 megabits per second. So I moved it back here and that was just half the week. So half the week I had low rewards and then they they jumped back up uh, for the last three days of the week. Uh, but that ended up as a total. So I'm gonna say they were 250, now they're more around 500. Um, and that ended up being around 2,700 at the at the end of seven days. So I get about 2,700 and at 0.0037, that means I get about uh, 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah, 10 bucks. So that's why I'm saying like, wow, the mapping is still doing better than in indoor hotspot. At least for me, maybe not for you, you tell me, please go ahead and feel free to comment in the description what you're getting with your indoor hotspot. But like I said, I'm making 10 bucks a week with that, yet I'm making 18 bucks with the uh, with the service by Helium itself. So if I had a choice of which one I'd use, I'd be using the service. Okay, now there's also the outdoor one. The outdoor one's definitely gonna make more. 
I have a tricky situation right now where I have it on the roof with a CBRS. And uh, because of that, it's lowering my rewards by 25%. And I'm, I should say, actually, it's lowering my rewards by 75%, meaning I'm only getting 25% of what I would otherwise. Now, this may change with HIP 105 because HIP 105 is now separated rewards between CBRS and Wi-Fi. But we haven't actually seen it be implemented yet. So until it does, I'm dealing with the numbers they're giving me. So uh, as I was complaining about indoor giving me somewhere around 2700 at the end of the week, uh, I am actually getting uh, somewhere around 13000 Yep, 13000 when it comes to the mobile hotspot. And that is, again at a lowered capacity by 75%. I'm only getting a 25% capacity of that. Uh, so that averages around uh, 1,800 mobile a day. And again, at that value of 0 0.0037, uh, that means I'm making almost 50 bucks. Yeah, 50 bucks. So um, the outdoor is doing pretty good. I might, I, I could more recommend the outdoor, set it right next to your, your geode net system on the roof, Together, you, you could be making somewhere close to 100, right? So, not bad. Okay. Now, all of that said, there is, and I'm just going to reference it here, uh, the whole Helium CBRS radio system, which is not listed anywhere. Only the people who are actually familiar with Helium probably even know about it these days or those people who knew about it back in the IoT days. You need to have this Freedom Fi gateway and then you got to hook it up to something like this uh, 430H CBRS radio or maybe you connect it instead to this 436H CBRS radio, which also needs an antenna. So you got to look into antenna options like her right here. I did all that. Uh, I actually got a 430 and a 436 and a directional antenna. It was probably around seven grand all together to get all of this stuff. And in the last week, I have earned on an average basis, I'm going to say somewhere around uh, uh, 115,000, I think. I'm, I'm looking at numbers here, and, and they, they've dropped. They dropped uh, when recently uh, HIP, I'm going to say, I can't remember which HIP it was. I want to say 85 was implemented with uh, all of the, the uh, boosted areas. So I was getting around 130,000. And then it went down to like 115, and now it's like 111,000, and soon it's going to be like below that by probably 3,000. It's dropping like three to 5,000 on a daily basis. But that being said, that means the total that I got in the last seven days was 835,903, which at 0 0.0037 comes out to uh, almost uh, 3,100. So yeah, 3,100 in a week. That's not bad. Um, that means that I was able to pay it off fairly quickly in a couple weeks. Um, so yeah, uh, that was a good deal. And I'm still making money on that. Okay, so what have I made as a total? I'm going to tell you that some exact figures, the exact figure that I have made then for the past week, all the devices together, is $3,327.39. That's right. That's what I've made in the last week with all of these devices. Now keep in mind, a lot of that came from the CBRS. So from the rest of the devices involved, we're looking at around $234.50. In a week which is still honestly not bad but obviously it pales in comparison of some 3100 uh, that you could get from the cbrs system now again these are diminishing returns i'm getting less and less and less every week but hey the values are going up um the values just a week ago uh, when i 
did cash out to try to pay for my system uh, for a mobile token was more around 0 0.0028. Uh, wish I had waited <laughs> so it was 0 0.0037 right now, but I didn't. And uh, yeah, that's why some people say just hold it, hold it, and keep holding it until it goes up enough. Uh, but hey, I, I wanted to at least uh, fill up my bank account once again with what I paid for all the equipment. So what's going on after this? Well, I'm going to tell you. Uh, the next devices that I'm involved in, first of all, is Hive Mapper. Hive Mapper, my Hive Mapper dash cam comes on Thursday. I am super excited. I got an Uber driver buddy who we're going to connect it in his place uh, I or his car. Uh, I will try to create a video that shows you how we get this up and running, but I am super excited. We'll see how much it earns. Now there's also Weather XM. I got that Wi-Fi WB1000 weather station. Uh, does it pay right now? Yeah, yeah. It pays about three uh, WXM crypto a day, but it's still on testnet. So it's not live with that. That's just testing money. And actually what's going to happen is when it goes live, they are going to sort of pay you back for that. It, it, there's some sort of beta airdrop plan, but it occurs over the period of time that your machine has been running uh, before we go on to mainnet. So right now it's on testnet and we'll see what that ends up being. I will definitely let you know, but they say right now they are ready for mainnet. So any of you who are looking to get into it, I mean, they are going to start paying very soon actual crypto. Uh, for those of you who want to get in, now's the time to get in. For those of you who are already getting in or have already gotten in, I hope we get those, uh, that airdrop beta rewards because that's, I love that. That's what I'm getting into. Okay. Uh, now, one last thing I want to mention is Sora Chain. Uh, I realized that you could actually take this Modus Mini because it's supposed to be connected to your car and connect it right next to the Dymo Auto Pi as long as you had like a, a Daisy Chain system so you can do both. Uh, so yeah, I bought one. It was like 10 bucks on Amazon. So why not? And I, I bought this uh, off of... Uh, well, off of Helium Deploy, and uh, then yesterday they sent me a message saying, yeah, we don't actually have any, sorry. Not happy about that. Um, I might cancel and then, you know, buy it just directly here, but as you can say, see, it's, uh, it's on pre-order right now. Uh, luckily, though, even though it's on pre-order, there's been an agreement that anybody who has bought one now, at first I think they were going to say at the end of January, anybody who joins in, you're not going to get an airdrop. But now they're saying you are going to get an airdrop. So, yay! Uh, the thing is, I heard it's not going to be delivered until like the fourth week of March, uh, which is, what, five or six weeks away? So, eh, I mean, you know. Might as well order, right? I mean, it says it takes approximately six to eight weeks before it's going to be delivered anyway. So, yeah, I mean, they say Helium Deploy told me the fourth week of May, but who knows? Anyway, a lot of information there. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.